You know, there's something about Central Texas for me, opening weekend, climbing up in an oak tree and watching all the deer. Generally, they're in huge bachelor groups and, and it's always fun to hunt the Winlet Ranch when we get all get together and do that. And now we're gonna take a second break down everything that's in my backpack. And as you can see, I've recently just kind of emptied it out for the benefit of everybody. And you can tell a lot of this stuff's pretty well used and that I use it a lot in the field. These two products right here are already, they're brand new. I haven't even taken those out because you can see them up on the tree that we're hunting in. And they're gonna be the arms that we hang a lot of our gear off of. I'm a big believer in being able to hang a lot of my gear, having it easily accessible. I think it makes for silent movement a lot of times when I'm not already holding my bow to grab it and pick it up. I always have a, a variety of flashlights with me in different situations. This is a bigger one that I'll use for for tracking or when I need to light other things up. These are the headlamps that I like to put on my hats when I'm coming to and from a stand. I think it's very important <laughs> to be able to have those when I'm fumbling around in the blind trying to get in and out. Uh, knives, obviously, for field dressing. Little clippers. I think clippers are really important to be able to, uh, you know, whether I'm cutting out of my tags, the dates and the times uh, that I've harvested something or trimming shooting lanes when I'm up there building little quick blinds. I mean, those are very important. A spare <laughs> release. I have forgotten my release a few times in my life. And, and so I keep one of those just stuck in my backpack at all times. A GPS. I really rely on a GPS a lot. I hunt a lot of places that I don't know. I've only been there maybe one time before. I'll download maps to be able to study the topography, be able to navigate to and from. But it's really important in a tracking situation to be able to mark last blood, first blood, look at trails from when we've been tracking deer, uh, whether we've called in tracking dogs or we're just tracking them on hand and foot looking for our sign or our own. I mean, I, so I'm just a huge believer in a handheld GPS and all the data that I can, can get out of it. Binoculars, I mean, goes without saying, they're always gonna be a pair either on my neck and my backpack. Um, I actually use, as you can see here, zip ties to make little loops in here that I will use to hang off of, uh, off of tree limbs or off of the little attachments that I've got right here to hang my binoculars for ease of uh, grabbing them. That they, they, I mean, that really makes it easy to pick them up. Same situation goes on my uh, tree arms when I'm out there. And you'll see, as you look down here, I've got more zip ties. A lot of times I'll zip tie my backpack into a tripod, into the tree stand that I'm sitting on, uh, just helps keep it more secure. And I use zip ties and tape a lot of times to be able to fill out tags when I'm coming and going uh, in different situations. I'll use zip ties to zip tie brush to where I'm at, zip tie uh, camo tarps, a lot of different things. I'm a big believer in zip ties. They're my duct tape in a deer blind. Pins. I mean, a lot of people don't realize the importance in a pin uh, while in their backpack, but when you're calling the, you know, calling in and when you've harvested one and they give you a confirmation number or you're filling out a tag where you put the name of the ranch, the county that you're in, any type of data. I mean, I, I usually have a couple of them with me. I always have a spare strap for my, uh, my harness just in case I forget one. I've got a harness sitting here behind me on, on the on a block. I mean, a lot of times if I know I'm hunting in a tree stand, that's gonna be inside my backpack or already on me when I'm coming and going from a stand. Uh, easy to carry either direction when you're coming and going. And it looks like I've, I have managed to not lose any gloves this past season. And actually I've got three pairs in there, so I'm doing pretty good. I always have a lot of gloves uh, inside my backpack with me for different hunting situations. And I'm actually pretty proud that I haven't lost any, honestly, this year. But that's just a quick glance at what goes in my backpack. And there's various things that I take in and out at other times. It could be a hunter safety orange when I'm hunting in a, a place where I need it. It could be snacks, it could be water, it could be ammo. There's lots of different things that we may be carrying at various times. But these are the basics that live in here. And as you can tell, some of them are pretty dirty, pretty warm, and, and I've used them for a couple of years in different hunting situations.